Hey, Ira Miller here with Homes Around the Village's YouTube channel and I am Realty. Today we are doing a little video for Rita. So Rita, I want to thank you so much for asking us to come out here and do a video for you on this really nice pool home. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take you around and show you all the aspects of this home. It has a new roof on it already. So that's one of the most important things I think in buying a home is the age of the roof. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll go and point out some other features about this home. And we're going to try to do it just in one take because uh, what we want to do is just download this as fast as we can, get it out there to Rita so she can take a look at it and um, see if this might be a home that they're interested in making an offer on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, okay? All right, so we're going to jiggle a little bit, but... Here we go, so nice landscaping in the front. They have their little landscape wall going around. Give you a little shot of the neighborhood. So it's just before the turn in the road. This is what it looks like across the street. So I already took a walk around um, the outside of the home. I don't really think there's a big need in going all the way around. And you actually can't, or not that you can't, but it's a little difficult uh, getting around the back side of that home. There is a uh, wall back there, a villa wall for privacy, and it's all landscape back there. You have a little walkway that kind of goes back to the pool area. And again, a nice little landscape wall and some queen palms up here. It is a wood frame and vinyl home built in 2004. I believe I'm gonna check that real quick. Uh, and my information shows me that it's 1,782 square feet living area. But actually what the listing says, it was built in 2003. Okay. And it's listed for 469.9. So the, the um, <clears throat> front entrance is screened in for you. We have a front foyer with a coat closet. So it's tiled in the foyer and then blends into carpet into the living room. Now the guest bedrooms are immediately to our left over here. Some really nice engineered wood flooring in the front bedroom. Plantation shutters. This is your closet. Guest bathroom. So there's solar tubes all throughout the house. So this is one in the guest bathroom. Granite counters in the vanity. Tile floors. More engineered wood in the other guest bedroom. Plantation shutters. And then you have a bank of closet space, the whole wall of closet space over here. All right, so let's continue on through the house. And we have the kitchen with some vinyl plank flooring. 
laundry room. And here's what the garage looks like. Now I failed to tell you that there was a screen like this that went over the front door. So these are kind of nice on a day like today. You can leave the garage door open, you can pull that screen across, same thing with the front door, and really have some nice fresh air coming through. It's about 67 degrees out there, I guess. Pull downstairs. And I'm just looking for um, attic trusses, which there are no attic trusses, but some extra cabinets in the garage, laundry sink. And the floor was painted. So this is a um, nice, beautiful granite. And these are a cherry looking cabinet. Soft touch, very nice, like that. Samsung stainless steel refrigerator, matching gas range and oven, and an LG microwave. And then you have a Maytag stainless steel dishwasher. All right, so here's the view standing in the kitchen. That's the living room. More solar tubes. Now here you would see an outlet on the in the ceiling cuz typically in this model this is where you see the dining room table. However, there's so much space over here, you don't really need two eating spaces, so I went ahead and designated this as the dining area, which again in this floor plan is typically the breakfast nook area, but plenty of room just to have a nice dining room table. We'll go on into the master bedroom, nice size master with a custom ceiling fan up there. A little tropical looking. So you do have doors that go out to the lanai and the pool area, which we'll show you here in just a second. High ceilings in the master bedroom. And a big walk-in closet with a closet organizer. So that's really nice. And then there's some, your engineered wood is there inside the closet with high ceilings. So you really get a lot of space out of this closet. All right, let's go to the master bathroom. You have two sinks, matching cabinets to the kitchen, a walk-in shower. Here are some tile floors in here. Linen closet. Here's what the shower looks like. Okay, a big rain head there. And you can pull this off as a handheld, actually. And we have a seat there in the back. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take you to the really nice part of the house, the lanai and the pool area. The owner calls this his oasis back here, so I can see why he has that opinion of his little outside area here. Here's the pool. So you have some nice water curtains coming out, and then that's what the back looks like. Nicely landscaped with a villa wall for privacy. So if you look through, you can see the wall there with ivy crawling up it. All 
righty. We'll come back here. Give you a nice shot of the pool. In the Lanai area. There's your ceiling fans. And then you have a nice little lounging area out over here. It's protected with a canvas covering. So no water can get in this area. Did a little stamped concrete out here. And you can see how it's very private because you don't have, you don't see people's line eyes very easily at all back here. And then on the other side, the neighbor's really giving you some privacy with a high hedge back there. And there's a good look at the pool again. All right, so we'll just do another quick walk through. Shot of the kitchen and dining area. High ceilings. Nice pendulum lights. Again, you have a lot of solar too. There's one here. There's one over there. And there's one over in the kitchen. So, and then we've seen the ones in the bathrooms. Your granite. All right, so there's a few little notes over here that we can um, talk to you about. Ah, uh, so the roof was replaced in 2023. Gutter guards were also put in there. The gas stove in 2019. Garbage disposal was replaced in 2023. Microwave in 2022 and a dishwasher in 2021. Said the AC was replaced in 2016, but it is a 2016 um, air conditioner. Now, whether they upgraded it or what they did to it four years later in 2020, I don't really know. I couldn't see why they would want to do a, um, they would have to do a new compressor or a blower motor. So uh, anyways, it just says it was updated in 2020, a hot water tank. Uh, says uh, the water tank I see is 2011. Uh, pool pump was replaced in 2022. Pool heater in 2020 and pool uh, filter in 2023. And then, um, so you can kind of see some of the things that I covered just now. All right, so that's uh, where we're at with So like I said, we're trying to do this all in one shot so we can just stick this, uh, download it onto uh, YouTube and get it sent off to Rita so she can really take a look at it. Um, but let's see, what else would he have? Nothing else, mood lighting in the pool area, which was nice. Uh, everything else I kind of just, uh, I, I mentioned in the video here. So let me know, Rita, if this is something you like. And we, as we always do, are going to keep this video private for Rita until she makes a decision whether or not this is a home she might want to make an offer on. If it's not, we're going to put it out there to the public. So if uh, the rest of you are watching this video, then it's available, more than likely, unless there's a banner that says sold through video or pending or sold or whatever. Um, but for right now, this is um, January 3rd. And uh, as of right now, it is available for Rita to buy. And then if, like I said, if she says 
she's not interested for whatever reason, we'll put it out there for the public. You can give us a call if maybe you're interested, okay? So thank you for watching this video. Just want to ask if you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as one of our subscribers. And there's also a little bell icon for notifications. So each and every time I do make a video like this, you'll be notified. And then you can decide whether or not this might be home for you. And then lastly, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. And also you can give us a call at 352-204-9026. And again, that's 352-204-9026. If you are interested in this home, we'd love to uh, write an offer up for you, okay? And you could also always email us at homesaroundthevillages at gmail.com. You can call or text to that number, actually, that I just gave you, okay? Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in our next videos.